Hey, what's up, guys? You'll come in, sit down, and shut the door. Things are going down over in Diddy Land. Janice Combs has been hospitalized. Now, listen, the streets are talking, and there's a few conflicting theories, but baby, we're going to share them with all of you. First of all, let's get into it, right? Janice Combs was hospitalized. Now, first, I want to say, y'all better not be doing any hoodoo out in Jamaica, Queens. <laughs> It's not funny. We wish her a speedy recovery. Again, Diddy's crimes have nothing to do with her. However, Diddy did a lot to a lot of people and hurt a lot of people. I'm just saying that somebody is in hoodoo. I don't know if Janice Combs is going to be, shall we say, exempt, but we do wish her a speedy recovery. Okay, so where are we at? She is hospitalized and she is suffering from chest pains. They're saying she was hospitalized in South Florida after experiencing chest pains. Let me just get through this report, then I'm going to tell you what I've been hearing. Janice was rushed to the hospital on Wednesday. Wednesday okay, fine. That was yesterday. After the days flow together when you got the warmth of the summer suns on your skin. On Wednesday, after she complained about discomfort in her chest, according to sources close to Diddy, it's still unclear exactly what caused the pain. We're told she's going to remain in the hospital for at least another day. Our sources say Diddy was in Miami at the time and at his mom's request went to the hospital to be by her side. We're told Janice believes the pain was related to stress over her son's legal woes, including the federal investigation and multiple civil lawsuits. Mm. Again, Janice, get healthy, but mm. because at the end of the day, are you effing serious? You related to heart pain you better be worried about your funeral expenses and all the kids living expenses for the rest of 50 years being wiped out because of the mess diddy did now here's the funny thing in this report it lets us know a bunch of things they said janice lives in miami but her own residence you know what we're gonna get to this but i gotta put my two uh cents in right she was rushed to the hospital on wednesday after she complained about discomfort in her chest according to sources close to diddy they don't know what happened to the thing my sources are telling me that Diddy finally came clean with his mom and was like, uh, literally put on Tupac. I know it's sacrilegious, but still, dear mama, and told her, yo, I might be going away for a very, very long time. Again, we've been saying for a while, arrest is imminent. Diddy has been showing pictures of him getting on a private jet. But even that private jet, now that we know he's in Miami, that makes me think that he was reposting old stuff. Even that white water trip, you were just in Wyoming, Minnesota, wherever the white water rappers are. I know they go through a bunch of states. So can you tell me how you got to Miami so quick? Again, I think he's doing old posts because he wants everybody to think he's bothered, but it looks like he actually is grounded. Um, it's related over stress over her son's legal woes, Again, what changed? Well, think about it. The raid happened. She ain't go to the hospital. People been, she ain't go to the hospital. She saw the video of Cassie on the thing. She ain't go to the hospital. But now that all major news outlets are reporting that Diddy's arrest is imminent, now she going to the hospital? I'm just saying, coincidence? Maybe Diddy has maintained his innocence. But, you know, and saying that this is just a government harassing a black man. And I said, I mean, it could be both. The government could be harassing a black man and you still could be guilty as all sin, in which way it is not harassment. That's called the consequences of your actions, sir. Anyway, um, so she's going to remain in the hospital. That's pretty serious for her to be in the hospital from Wednesday to Friday. They're saying that she was rushed to the hospital, discomfort in the chest. Now, listen. I don't want to get dark about it, but remember when Gene Dill and a few other people said that Diddy has no respect for his mom and tried to put his head? Just hear me out. Do you think that Diddy needs Janice out the way so stuff can be transferred? I don't know. If you listen to all what's in the gossip, Diddy seems to be in some very, very dark stuff. If you saw the way he treated Cassie, it seems super, super dark. Now, I don't want to put anything... <laughs> far be it for me to gossip, but Janice Combs owns almost all of, well, half of Diddy's business, Justin owns the other. I know what people are saying. If she goes into the hospital and God forbid something happened to her, all that 
stuff goes into an estate and it can be actually attacked by the people that are suing him. But here's the thing a lot of people don't realize. I was talking to somebody like this and they were like, yo, did probably transfer all that stuff months ago. And I said, but here's the thing. When you're under lawsuits, federal and civil, it would be smart for anyone to be like, oh shoot, they're suing me for 30 million. Let me transfer my assets. But there is something called that if you transfer assets too quickly and too much around the time of litigation, the court has the power to undo all those trans transfers because they're like, you were just trying to hide your money. Again, the court's not stupid and rich people do this all the time. Moreover, they can literally ask for certain things to be frozen or go in front of the court and be like, Your Honor, they're trying to dump all their assets. So I know Diddy thinks he's smarter by half and it worked when it was the bad boy stuff, but I don't know if it's working now. Um, again, she complained about discomfort in her chest. Did she drink from the wrong bottle? Because you know Diddy got a special bottle for the women and a special, actually, he got a special bottle for some women and men and then a special bottle for everybody else. Maybe Janice Combs drank from the wrong, wrong bottle. Um, they're saying it's unclear what caused the pain. I hope this ain't a Kim Porter conversation. Remember Kim Porter was complaining. She went to the doctor, went to the doctor. And then one day she just didn't wake up. Um, she's going to be in the hospital for three days, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. They said at least another day, she might even go there again. Did she have a heart attack? If she did, it makes me believe the rumors that Diddy finally came clean and the family has finally accepted that he's going bye-bye for a, uh, what's going bye-bye. Now here's the word thing. Our sources say Diddy was in Miami at the time and in his mom's request, went to the hospital to be by her side. Janice lives in Diddy's compound in Miami. If I'm not wrong, I could be wrong. What is going on? First of all, who needs their mom's request to go see them at the hospital at his mom's request? That was a very, very odd thing to say. It makes me think, are Diddy and his mom even on talking terms at his mom's request? Like, please come, but y'all live in the same house. Also, Diddy was in Miami at the time. Why didn't y'all say Diddy was home? Now, here's the thing. I have heard rumors that Diddy, even though he films in that estate and he does this and that, Diddy has not been staying in his home in Miami on um, Star Island. I've heard, again, please go do your own research. I'm just telling you what I heard. Don't take this as fact, right? I've heard that Diddy's mom is living in that house and Diddy, because of everything that happened with the feds raiding, he's paranoid that the feds have listening devices. The feds might be bugging him. The feds might be tapping him. He's paranoid that his movements might be um, uh, looked into. So he's actually been staying at an undisclosed location. Now I'm sure the feds know where he's saying, but it's staying, but it's an undisclosed location. Another person told me that Diddy and these freak off things, that's what he uses to release steam. That's what he uses to keep going. Okay. As horrible as I look at freak offs, you know, my pure puritanical values, I'm like, mm, no, right. Diddy actually needs this to blow off steam. This is what he did for 20 years. It makes him feel powerful. It makes him feel in control. And you know, he's down 10 toes with that white fingernail brigade. They're also saying that he's staying at an undisclosed, this disclosed location because his preferences, Diddy is still indulging in. His preferences, because everybody's either his family and whatever are either in Miami or Los Angeles. Those are those two homes his preferences right now and he can't openly do it. And what's more, he doesn't want anyone because there's a bunch of paparazzi outside his house waiting and see him. They haven't gotten any pictures of him walking around his house or doing anything. They're saying that's because Diddy's not there and he doesn't want pictures of pretty young things from the booby trap or whatever coming into the place, leaving this and that, starting gossip and making the jury think that he hasn't learned a thing. So he has been staying at an unlocked disclosed location. So people actually don't know where he's coming and going. Anyway, um, they're saying Janice lives in Miami, but at her own residence. I have heard that that so far is not true. She stays at that Star Island house. If she does not live there, like mailing address, when the kids and family and stuff, she is over there looking out. Of course, also, right? 
But also, let's not forget that Diddy's money is tightening up. So these situations that they say exist, there's a chance they actually could have changed. Again, it makes me more likely to not believe that. They said she's been spending time with him in Miami in the months since the federal raids on his homes. For several weeks, Diddy circled the wagons and really only spent time with family members like Janice and his kids. Now, you know that freaky A ninja, right? You know that 69 God ain't go mumps being celibate. I think that he doesn't have it in him. Again, this leads credence, even the way TMZ, she doesn't live there, but you're always over there. That's like saying, well, I don't live with him, but I'm over there Monday through Friday. So it's just like, whatever. So when you look at things like that, it makes you like kind of side eye what's actually going on. Again, why did you have to request him to join you? What happened? that he thought he wouldn't be welcome. Um, he's only spent time with family members. What about Stevie J? Janice and the kids. Again, I want to know who who's on the visitor log at the security gate. It's out. We haven't gotten any paparazzi shots of Diddy. Uh, we're told doctors are keeping her hospitalized another night for further testing and observation. And Diddy is still there with her. As the source put it, he's her comfort in this Yo, do you think the feds are like, turn yourself in now? And she, he's like, no, I'm my mommy's comfort. I don't know. The story is developing. The stress, it could be a heart attack. It could be a panic attack. Nobody knows yet. I do know that I think that TMZ is very cozy with Diddy's defense team. So whatever stories you get from TMZ, that's what Diddy wants us to believe. So I'm going to go do some research and find out what's really going on. Anyway, y'all, let me know what you think in the comments. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.